Hi, this is Nick from Paradise Lost and you're watching Loud TV. Hey guys, welcome on Loud TV with Nick hey. from uh, Paradise Lost. Hey. How you doing, man? Good, good. Excellent. Excellent? Yeah. <laughs> on, the, on a very special moment, uh, on the Draconian Times, Times Tour. Yeah. yeah, the last date. <laughs> yeah? The last date, yeah. Who are the, the first dates? Uh, brilliant. We did Greece, Germany, uh, Holland, uh, the UK. Last night, uh, the night before last, we did London and now uh, Paris. So, yeah, eight shows. You know that uh, we have the chance to, to see you live tonight because uh, uh, the Elysee Montmartre has burnt. I know, that's, that's really sad. That's, uh, yeah. yeah, really bad news. But, yeah. So we have the chance you know, to, to, to see you finally. Mm. Um, so 15 years after the release of mm. Draconian Times, uh, why this such tour? You know? um, I mean, the, the album has been uh, re reissued and remastered. Um, I mean, it sounds much, much better than the original pressing. So. Uh, yeah, it's been digitally remastered, uh, 5.1 surround, etc., etc. So we're kind of tying the, the tour in, in with that, you know. So uh, it sort of ties in nicely. So with it. on which level? It's not on Century Media. Um, no, it's been released. Um, I think it's through Sony. <laughs> I've forgotten actually. <laughs> Don't put that in. <laughs> Is it Sony? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Sony, Sony, yeah, Sony. Sony. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's very common, you know, to to reach you or to tour yeah. for for a, an old album yeah, yeah. like uh, you know many many metal bands uh, has done that like Megadeth or yeah, so well, is, it, is it a pleasure or for you um, it's good yeah I think um, it's very nostalgic for people because they come and see the show and I think people remind it reminds them of the 1995 or whenever the album was was launched the same thing perhaps if I want to see Metallica do hmm? the Rider Lightning or whatever it's I think yeah and then the crowd uh, do go crazier than they would do normally because I think it's very nostalgic for people so uh, yeah it's a good thing it's, it's kind of the crowds even better than we expected it's been really really good so so just uh, only old fans or <laughs> um they're younger than us. <laughs> that gives you some indication of the age. <laughs> but we have lost. No, we have fathers and sons. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all right, you know. Okay, mm. but you are not from are, Australia. The sons are twenty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> So what what does it mean for you the the Draconian Times uh, album in your career? Is it um, can we say that it's uh, your black album? Um, I suppose, but I, I wouldn't say it's, it's it's not my favorite Paradise Lost album. But it's certainly a, one of that kind of you know one of that the benchmark album everyone identifies with. We had a lot of success in, in Europe with that album, and uh, you know it opened a lot of doors for us, and we did a lot of big big shows around mm -hmm. that time. Yeah, I mean we were it was a, it was a, one of the, the kind of golden moments for the band for sure. And I'm happy because uh, uh, I uh, I try to to hear your music with this album, you know, fifteen or. 15 or 16 years uh, yeah, yeah. ago, so it was uh, something very fresh, you know, at the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we were uh, in the right place at the right time, a, a lot, and everything just seemed to work, you know. And uh, did you remember that uh, at the time you, 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 you finished uh, the Draconian Times tour with the Dunnington? In '96. Yeah, yeah. So maybe it, it was a, a highlight. Uh, yeah, it was. In your career. We were very, yeah, we were very nervous before that show. Uh, yeah, I can remember the show because people throw big crowd objects. Yeah. Yeah, but they, it's a term of affection. It's not an insult. But, but they, you played at home at the time, so why did, did they? Uh, they? They just throw it anyway. They yeah? just do it because people are drunk. Because the English people, when they go to festivals, they drink at like 10 a.m. <laughs> and then by 4 p.m. the sun. And all the drink, and they just become a bit perhaps silly mm -hmm. at times. So it's but yeah, people were throwing potted plants. There was a plant hit the stage once, which was a bit peculiar, mm -hmm. and uh, bottles full of I don't know what it is, body, very bodily fluids, <laughs> etc. You got a very dangerous job, man. Ah, uh, well, you still keeps you on your toes, you know, when you're dying around. Uh, a new album, uh, 
a very difficult title. <laughs> Fifty badges, death unites us. Yeah. yeah, I like you know your. Uh, I practice it quite yeah. a lot. Yeah, so <laughs> with the the accent, the English accent from the north. Yeah, Fifty yeah. badges, death unites us. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say that uh, now that your music is less innocent than maybe you know they compared to to Draconian times? Which um, was very professional, but maybe. I don't know. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a bit, probably a bit darker than Draconian Times. Uh, Draconian Times is a very upbeat album. It's a very kind of dancey sort of album. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've kind of gone a bit darker in, 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 and we're trying to be a bit more kind of heavier in a dark sense of the word uh, than Draconian Times. Is very much uh, represents a lot of bands that were doing that kind of thing around that time. We were listening to Cult and we were listening to Queen Drake and all that kind of stuff. And I think you can kind of hear the influences on there a little bit. So what are the, the feedbacks towards the, this new album? It, it was released uh, more than one year ago. Yeah, um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so, uh, the tour was great. I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, we've had some really good feedback and uh, we just keep going, keep going, you know, everything's good. And something very fresh in this, in this album uh, with Faith, uh, it's the, that Greg played uh, with uh, seven strings. Yeah, yeah. Which it's, makes something special. Yeah, it just gets the guitars more grunt, you know, gives them a lot more bottom end. Um, makes it sound. I mean, I think you can down tune too much, and then you lose the whole point of why you're down tuning. So I think it gives an extra element to the, to the sound. It makes things a lot darker. I think. You know? mm -hmm. So it's great, you know, to uh, 20, 20, 20, more than 20 years after the the creation of the band, you 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 have uh, new stuff and uh, new new goals like uh, new guitars, new new crowd. Yeah, new, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's you know we, we still enjoy it, and people want to hear it. We'll still do it. You know, that's the main thing. You, I think you've got to enjoy what you do and. If you don't enjoy it, people can hear it. You know, yeah. you, you can really hear it when music's, you know, people aren't into it. So, and on the thanks to this album, this new album, there is a very scary, scary video clip. You know, maybe the, uh, very strange. You know, and I must admit that I, I, I have watched it uh, entirely for the first time today yeah. because it's too, you know, it's a bit creepy, too weird. It? You yeah. know, to. Well, I mean, that, for the same reason, I, that's why I kind of like it, because I, I kind of I find it uncomfortable. But I kind of like that. It reminds me of certain films we've watched, and it's like, oh. But I, I sort of like that, because not too many bands... You really remember know. when you when you you saw it for the first time? Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I watched it all the way through, either. <laughs> uh, I have done since, but yeah, it's um, it's just a bit a little bit different. You know, it makes people talk. Pretty in talk. command, you know, compared, you know, to the... To the Draconian Times video clip, which was uh, last time. Well, there was last time, and there was Forever Failure. So you know, it it was completely different. Well, I mean, you you, have, you can have band performance videos, or you can yeah. have some. But I mean, I, I find band performance videos a little cliche, a little, cliche, a, well, a little tiresome. If it's an if you if it's a new band, then I think it's good because you yeah. you want to see the guys playing it. But if you know the the old guys behind it, you don't need to see them. <laughs> in a wheelchair. Yeah, in a wheelchair <laughs> with canes. So it's. it's yeah, I, I like. I always like videos that have a little story, or like a middle, of, uh, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I mean, Forever Failure is one of my personal favorite videos we, we've ever done. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make any sense. I just think the visuals are good in it. So it's uh, like a David Lynch movie. Yeah, maybe, it's kind of yeah. weird, and people they want to know what's going on. It's like I don't, I don't know. It just looks nice. You know, it's, it just fits the music really. So. And Face uh, is your twelfth uh, album. Yeah. Uh, so what about your thirteenth? Because you know, sir. Sir, the the figure in the, the 13. thirteen. It's very special, you know. In the, in Europe, it's a magical number, gloomy, darky. So yeah, thirteen. Well, we, yeah. Well, is it an anvil? And this is thirteen. <laughs> so we'll come up with a title like that, something like that. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. It's so just, it's no just, idea for the moment. Uh, no, we, we're going to start working on new new uh, new stuff after this. We finish this, and then we want to really we really concentrate on new material and. We'll look at recording towards the end of the year, ho hopefully. So, okay. uh, yeah, it's it's always hard to, to to begin new write new stuff. You kind of have to get the wheels rolling, and then when you get going, you mm -hmm. you know it picks up speed pretty fast. So we'll see. Okay, and uh, of course tonight you you play the entire album of the Dragon and Times. Yes. Uh, are there songs that you have never played before? Um, they were. We have now because it's the last show. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. There, there was a few, and um, they go down surprisingly good. Uh, some that I'm surprised we've never played. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Jaded, it goes down. It's a really good live song, but we never played it before this tour. So, and which is very surprising, you know, um, when you when you hear this album, it's, uh, you know, 15 years ago, still fresh, and uh, all the songs, you know, have uh, you know, you you can say, oh, this one, it's not uh, so good, or mm -hmm. you know, all the songs are 
of something special. Yeah, it's a pretty strong or? album. Yeah, like I said, it's it's a very upbeat album. Everything's kind of dancey to I can't think of a better word, but it's it's all very upbeat. You know, and there's only really elusive Cure and Jaded that aren't kind of really upbeat songs, so it, mm. it flows quite nicely. You know. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Okay. Uh, have a great show. Thank you very much. Look forward to it. Yes.